What's up guys, McCaddy here. I'm back at my parents' house, so I've got a slightly different setup, so hopefully it will be sounding okay uh, anyway. So, uh, today I'm against a guy called Pell Gabri, and this is the second half of our NU session. Uh, just as a reminder, the next session we'll be doing is an, is an e AU session, then probably an OU session after that, so stay tuned for those. So, look at this guy's team. He's got a Malamar, a Seismitoad, Electrovire, Cypher, Lilligant, and Mantine. So, by the looks of things, the Malamar might be his Scarfer. Though, to be honest, normally Electrovires are the Scarfer. So, I, I probably wouldn't say. Maybe more. it's more likely to be something like a Salt Vest. Or just generally, especially defensive, bulky, really. That's going to be his Rock Setter. He does have the Mantine for the Defog. So, Rocks get, aren't going to be particularly important. Nothing that I can see, apart from the Lilligant benefits from the Sun. So I've got to watch out a bit with the Lilligant. But apart from HP Fire, I, they, they don't really do that a huge amount. The Mantine might be a little bit of an issue when it comes to attacking it on its special side. But hopefully that should be fine. It's not going to be AV or anything like that. Especially if he's going to have to rely on the Defog for the Cypher. The uh, Seismitoad's not going to be too much of an issue either. So it, it mainly comes down to which ones are his Scarfers. Because I'm not... 100% sure, but there is a chance that his um, Electrovire might be able to outspeed me. So, I think, as always, I am going to lead with Tash, as he leads with the Cypher. Okay, so hopefully, that will give me the opportunity to scare him out. It is quite tempting to go for the T-Wave, but then I do have the issue that he might then go out into the Seismitoad. Because um, I do predict the U-turn. I guess he could Brit Break here, but he might be fearing me going for the Power Gem. So, I am just going to go for the Sunny Day at this turn. I think that's that's the safest bet. He does go straight for the Brick Break, and that's a crit. So, actually, I took that quite well, I must admit, for four times, uh, being four times weak to Brick Break. So, I'm going to go for the Volt Switch here. He obviously is going to be able to take me out at this turn. So, he does go for the Brick Break and takes me out. So, this now gives me the opportunity to go out into probably Pitch. I think I should be able to take him out. So, I'll, I'll go out into Pitch. And go for the weather ball. And hopefully that should be able to take him out. I'm pretty sure. I know Cyphers are quite bulky. But normally, um, they don't... I, I guess they sometimes run a, vi a Violite. He does go out into the Seismitoad. But to be honest, this thing is not going to be able to take a Solar Beam at all. So, I'm going to go for the Solar Beam here. So, um, yeah, as I said, I've got a, a bit of a new setup here. So, if there are any issues that you do see... Please let me know. Hopefully that should all be fine. Uh, no problems at all, really. <laughs> it might be just a slightly different format and sort of slightly different setup. But it, sh it should all pretty much be the same as when I'm up at university. So he goes out into the Mantine. And I think I am just going to go for the Solar Beam here. This is the sort of the main wall. I still have the Executor as well. That does quite a decent chunk, 62%. And he will take me out with the Air Slash there. Which is very unfortunate. So at this point I can go out into free faced. And I am guaranteed to be able to take this Mantine out. Um, unfortunately it is going to maybe bait in the Cypher. So I might have to go out into Prance or something like that to take the U-turn. So I think probably the best bet is just to go for another Solar Beam. There was a chance he could have switched in the Cypher. But I, I wasn't particularly. I didn't think he probably would do that. He probably would just let this die. So, it is 4 for 4 at the minute. I only have 2 turns of Sun left. He might end up going out into the Cypher, which may become a bit of an issue. He does go out into Cypher, so... I am going to have to go out, probably into Prancer. And he does go straight for the turn. I get a crit, and he gets a crit, unfortunately. Now... Oh, God, there's a, um, a helicopter overhead. I do apologise, guys. <laughs> we don't normally get them, but... Um, hopefully, it's not, it's not too loud. Anyway, he does go out into the Malamar. Okay. Well, i quite like to get as much damage off on this as possible. And I think if it's Scarfed, I should be able to take a uh, superpower from it. So I am going to go for the Flare Blitz this, at this point. A Sun Boosted Life Orb Flare Blitz should take this thing out. And it does. I do get a lot... Yeah, I get taken out pretty much from the Recall and the, the Life Orb. Which is a bit unfortunate, but there's not much I can really do about that. I think I am going to go out into... I am going to anticipate the Cypher coming out. But to be honest, the only option I really have is to go into Reaper. So I'm going to go out into Reaper. And invariably, he is going to go for the U-turn. 
and this is my only real opportunity to get the sun up and i think the sun up getting the sun up is probably the most important i mean i could t wave this but to be honest these two will be out speeding anyway so i don't i don't really see much point in doing that so i am going to go for the sunny day at this point as he does go for the u-turn i survive Ooh, now that's quite interesting because uh, he does go out into the electrifier. Oh, I was hoping he would go out into the Lilligant. So, the question is, do I keep Reaper alive? Because I could go out into Bambi and... Hmm, he may be running the Ice Punch, though. That's the only thing. It's just how, how important is Reaper? I, I can't anticipate this whole battle lasting more than eight turns. So I don't think there's, he's not really needed for the sun. But it's whether... I guess I don't even need a T-Wave off Cypher. So this is probably... And then, I, yeah, I think I am just going to let Reaper die. He does go for the Flamethrower. So from here, I think... Hmm. Let's see. So if I go out into Bambi... I don't know if a return is going to kill. That's the thing. And once I've gone from that, I have a feeling a psychic won't take out the cipher. So it's whether I go into free faced with the solar beam. I think that's my only option. I need to save, sort of save Bambi because I know it will outspeed both of these. And I can't afford to lose Bambi at this stage. So I am going to go out into free faced. And I'm going to have to get the solar beam off. There was a chance he would switch there, but it was something I couldn't particularly risk. Ha now that I think about it, this could potentially be a Scarfer. And I think if that's a Scarfer, it is GG from here. So, I think probably from here, there's no point me swapping out with Free Faced. I think I am just going to go for the Psychic. He does go out into the Lilligant. Okay, so I think just getting a Sludge Bomb off on this. He does go for the Quiver Dance. I still think this is going to do a pretty decent chunk. And if I can snag the poison, yeah, <laughs> which I do, it takes him out. So I, I must admit, I think he was probably a bit greedy, especially with the sun being up. I don't think that was particularly necessary. Um, I know a HP file probably wouldn't have killed, but um, also considering he's not switched in the cipher, I have a feeling this probably isn't scarfed. So I can just go for a psychic here. He, it is, oh, it is scarfed. <laughs> I say that, but... Um, yeah, unfortunately, it is GG from here. Ah, oh, that's a pain. Him bringing out the Lilligant made me think that it wasn't Scarfed. So, I am going to go for the return here. If I do get a crit, there is a chance I might win. But he's probably going to outspeed anyway. He doesn't outspeed. I... <laughs> oh, God. Um, oh, that's so bad. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I really shouldn't have won that one. That was unbelievable. Some sort of dark magic me calling that crit out. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that battle and I will see you at the next one. McCaddy out. If you enjoyed the video and want to keep up my latest content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. McCaddy out.